By the way, Aya, do you have a crush on Iki? Maybe? <laughs>
Okay, I'll text them then. He randomly takes a chair and sits next to me. By the way, Aya, do you have a crush on Iki? Maybe? <laughs> he asked casually, not looking up from his phone. I can't help but gasp in surprise. What? No! Why do you think I have a crush on him? <laughs> it's not like he's hot or anything. Ignore my question, he simply puts his chin on the desk and gives me a mischievous smile. It'd be fun if you ended up going out with him. Let me help you. Wait, why are you being so helpful for you? Am I like, are you playing Cupid right now? Did you hear what I just said? Not really. The heck? I'm sure this guy is, in fact, Ichigo's spirit animal. He's as carefree and insensitive as her. Anyway, come on, I'm hungry. Huh? I ha I, ha I have my lunch ready, dude. <laughs> Without warning, he pulls me to my feet and I barely have time to grab my lunchbox before he's dragging me out of the classroom. Oh wait, I forgot something for Iki. I'll be back in a sec. Wait for me. Okay, okay, I'll wait. Thanks. I sigh and roll my eyes, catching sight of something near my feet. It's a four-leaf clover. How rare! What's it doing in a place like this anyway? I crouched on the floor, carefully lifting my discovery and tucking it away in my skirt's pocket. I'm back. Come on! Wait, why was it just randomly there? Is it Iki's? Does he always carry that? Because that'd be so cute. Where are we going? Eating with Iki? Yep, on the roof. Wait, is Toshio gonna be there? <laughs> I follow him silently up the stairs to the roof and take one look through the half-open door and immediately start to back away. Uh-oh. Ryu grabs her shoulder before I can run. Where are you going? You didn't tell me that Toshio would be here. I don't even know why I would ask that question because of course Toshio would be with Iki. Well, yeah, otherwise you wouldn't have come with me, right? Ugh. If you want to clear the quest, you have to defeat the final boss. I think you're the final boss, Ryu. Maybe if you want to become close to Iki, you have to gain Toshio's trust. I know, but Toshio and I just can't breathe the same air without wanting to kill each other. Just be yourself and it'll be okay. It'll all be okay. But I'm- But- Aya's already herself. And Toshio doesn't like it. Too late. I didn't have time to say a word before he's already pushing me outside. Hey guys, uh, say hello to Aya. What? Are you- What? Are you doing this? Yes, I don't get the point either. Because you're two socially awkward guys and she just wants to be your friends. I don't need more friends. Exactly, nobody needs this ugly thing. <laughs> Toshio, I'm gonna beat your ass in your route. I'm sure I'm gonna cry for his start, probably, most likely. I don't wanna cry anymore on camera. <laughs> Rude, I didn't really ask for your opinion, though. I can't stand being both ignored and insulted at the same time like this. It's okay, we're taking, we're taking this photo. So, Ryu's last. I think uh, Toshio's in the middle-ish of the the pattern we're supposed to be playing in. I clear my throat and sit in front of- or is he next? I don't know. <laughs> Icky. What? Do you hate me? Not really. I just don't care much about you. I see. I mean, it's better than being hated. I go up and turn to Toshio, trying to keep my voice calm and level. And you, do you hate me? I'm ready for like, fuck yeah. <laughs> I already know the answer and it won't be a nice one. Don't talk to me. Yes, I hate you. Die. As expected. <laughs> Why? Because you live. Bitch. What the fuck? I have to stay calm. Okay. What? That's all? Are you mad at him? To tell you the truth, I want to slap him really bad right now. Same here. Listen here. Then come at me. <laughs> I'd rather damn myself and touch dirty trash like you. But Sorry to interrupt, but did you notice that Iki seems kind of true? kind of in trouble. We look at him at the same time. He's holding his chest tightly, looking at the floor with a painful expression on his face. Oh no! Is this like Four Leaf Clover, his dad's or something? Or someone close to him? Oh no, Iki, are you alright? Does it hurt somewhere? Are you having a heart attack or something? <laughs> no, I don't think he would... If someone's having a heart attack, I think that would be like... worse looking. Idiots, you know that I don't have any health issues. Okay, so it's not him. Somebody in his family then. It's just a lucky charm. I think I lost it. <gasps> Look at him frowning. Baby boy. It was in my shirt pocket, but I can't find it any find it anywhere. I think this is the first time I've ever seen him seen him so concerned. Even Ryu and Toshio look like look like this is a serious case. I'm just about to ask what kind of charm they're talking about when I suddenly remember the four-leaf clover in my own pocket. Should I just give it to him? I'm not gonna show it to all of them. Here you go, Iki. Uh, it might not be yours, but I found this a moment ago. It is! Where did you find it? It was in the corridor, near the class door. 
Thank goodness it's not damaged. I'm surprised it didn't damage in my pocket. He looks at him with eyes full of gratitude and a big smile on his lips. Seems he's able to have this kind of expression too. He's cute. He's so cute. God damn it. Wow, I think this is the first time I've seen you with such a happy look on your face. Well, well oh my god, he's blushing too! It, it's something really important to me. Someone really precious gave this, so thank you very much. Who gave it to you? If it's another girl, I'm throwing hands. <laughs> You're blushing, are you being shy now? How cute, oh my god. Shut up, I'm not. Don't lie, you're red like a tomato. Be careful, Aya. He might fall for you if you're too nice to him. What? Just kidding. You're annoying, I'm leaving. Wait, that's my line. I should be leaving. Are you angry now? Wait for me, hey! Oh no, please don't leave me with him. Seriously, they're both... I start talking to myself and I know that Toshi was still sitting here, staring silently at me. What? Nothing. Is it me? Is it is it me or is he talking to me without any insults for once? Let's go. Oh, he even said let's. Like me and him. Him and I, sorry. And he's even inviting me to follow them. Why in the world has Toshio changed his attitude toward me so quickly? Because we made Iki happy. That's why. And the end of the is the end of the world near? Will I win the lottery and become a billionaire? Or is it because of the four leaf clover? Maybe such a small thing was way more important than it seemed. Anyway, I can't help but feel happy. I saw Iki smile and Toshio. For the first time, he didn't wish for my death. Today is a great day. I hope I have more like it from now on. June 12th after school. Hot. The weather is so hot these days. I can clearly feel that summer is around the corner. I lazily drag my butt off the sofa to go to the kitchen, looking for something cold to, drink, to eat or drink. I open the fridge and pick my favorite ice cream. Strawberry cookies. Perfect. Strawberry cookies? Ice cream? That's a thing? I know there's like strawberry shortcake flavor things. I'm about to slump right back in front of the TV when I suddenly hear loud noises from outside. Aya, it's me. If you hear me, can you open the door, please? My hands are full. I can't reach the handle. I walk over to the entrance and pull the door open. Jeez, why are you always... I abruptly stop in the middle of my sentence, confused by what I'm seeing right now. There is someone standing right beside my mother. I stare at Iki. Hello? <laughs> Who seems to be as surprised to see me as I am to see him? What are you doing here? What do you, what do you mean? Is this my house? <laughs> Why would I just be at some random's house? Excuse me? This is my home. What are you doing here? No way. Do you know each other? I was actually telling him that my daughter attends the same school as him. How funny. What else did you say about me, huh, mom? That I'm pretty? Because he's gonna be like, <laughs> I was struggling with the grocery bags when I bumped into this nice young man who offered to help me. Oh, Iki. Iki, right? Make yourself at home. Aya, sweetie, come help me in the kitchen. Thanks, but it's okay. I... Uh, she's gone. There's nothing we can do about it. My mom is like a storm. So, um, yeah, just do as she said. <laughs> this is surprising. I never expected to see him in my house. Mom pops up again and fidgets excitedly. Talk about a coincidence. It must be fate. I don't think so. Here, bring him this glass of juice while I make some snacks. I take the glass and join him in the living room. Here's your drink. You can sit on the sofa if you want. It's okay, I don't really need to sit down. <laughs> Wait, it's really weird though. I know, like, I, I, I do put myself in these certain situations where someone's like, Hey, you know you can sit down. But like, I'm in the kitchen. I could just stand and... You know, but this is a living room. Literally, there's sofas everywhere where you can physically sit down. He drinks his juice in silence, discreetly glancing at the room around him until his gaze stops on the bookshelves. Are those vinyl and music CDs? He walks toward the shelves and starts to scan the titles. This is a huge collection. There are some famous composers here and even some lesser known. A lot of the classical music genre. Wait, do you like this stuff? Do you like music? I used to- <gasps> He used to play piano. I used to play piano when I was younger. Eh? That's kind of surprising. It is. What the fuck? Can you still play? Or did he give up? Did he hate it? Was he forced to? <laughs> now I want to listen to some music. I I think I'll play a CD. Iki, you want some snacks? I hand him the plate with the sandwiches and he takes one without any great interest. Maybe he's just doing it to be polite to my mom. Thanks. He's about to take a bite, but stops with the sandwich halfway to his mouth as soon as he hears the music. It's... Oh my god. Wait, this music.
It's so cute. Oh, I love this game's soundtrack. Is something wrong? No, everything is perfectly fine with this beat. But anyway, this is where we are going to stop for today's episode. I think we're getting closer to Iki, guys. Yo, I really love the soundtrack. Oh, it's so cute. I don't know if Mello has a list of the songs out that she used in this game, but goddamn, it's so fucking cute. It brightens my mood as it's like stormy and stuff outside. That's why I look so like gloomy in my webcam. But anyway, thank you guys for watching today's episode. Stay beautiful and I'll see you guys in the next one.